Hey everybody, how y'all doing quarantine? You know, how it be? How you doing with the shit fire that's going on? You know, revolution shit kind of vibing through? <laughs> that's dating this video. Yeah, if you don't agree with what's going on in the world right now, go fuck yourself. Cause it definitely is something that needs to happen. End of conversation. <laughs> but I'm here to give you a quarantine haul because you know, with everybody else and their goddamn mother, I cannot stop buying things. <laughs> so I've been actually keeping track of the things I bought. So the first thing I got, here we go boys. My first purchase, just like anybody else's a Nintendo Switch. I've wanted one of these uh, for like three years and the light came out recently and now we're in quarantine and I was unemployed so I was like well I'm gonna need something to do and I was really into the Animal Crossing hype so that's what I did. However I finished school on the 24th and went back to work on the 27th of April. <laughs> this is all April baby. <laughs> so including my Nintendo Switch purchase here that was a little bit French. I've purchased Animal Crossing Nintendo Switch online as well. I don't know why I didn't put and in there but the next thing I purchased. Will you ever see a stable video again? Maybe, I don't know. This is just where the best lighting is. So you've seen them in my Instagram story. We have my Tom Nook pin, cause you know, we got really heavy into that fucking Animal Crossing game. So I bought a pin. And then my cartoon pins came in from when I purchased them in March. One for me, one for my mom. Also a part of all that, you get a sticker based on how many pins you purchase. And I got Reptar. Next, I really, really wanted to buy some clothes, but I didn't see reason enough to buy new clothes because all my clothes, even though they're from 10th grade, I there's nothing wrong with, there's nothing wrong. So I convinced myself if I bought bras and underwear, they'd be the most useful pieces of clothing I could purchase right now. You know, we got to keep them boobies secure, right? So these are the comfiest goddamn bras I've ever bought in my life. Another purchase I have made is CBD dog treats for my dog because he has some arthritis in his left knee and left elbow. So I figured I'd give them a shot to see if they'd help him out. Turns out it's probably much more of a hip dysplasia issue than anything else so they didn't do a whole lot for him but the first time he took them he was vibing bro the next thing that i got i saw tiktok i saw an ad for this shoe sole company it's called yeah, okay, cool. You're just gonna see it because I legitimately can't remember. It's like Happy Soul. No, that's the fucking Penguin mo movie, Happy Feet. The other thing I bought is a photo book. Oh my god, I skipped over one thing. Gang, gang, move back to the pins that I showed you and send some of my stickers to print. We had to design stickers for one of my last assignments in school, so I designed some stickers and then I really wanted to send them to print. We have My Anxiety is Chronic, but Disaster is Iconic. This one is a bit washed out color wise, like, I'd have to make the pink more vibrant in the ass. However, not bad for not knowing how it's gonna turn out. Second one, sad but rad. Again, another fucking ass. This one is just, you know, relatable based on like quarantine and online schooling. Even though I was actually thriving, it says my grades are diving, but boy am I thriving. And then stressed but blessed. Easy peasy. And this one is probably one of my favorites along with sad but rad. I bought Pokemon cards. I haven't opened them. I literally bought these a week ago, but I haven't opened them. You know, I just get manic in the store and then I get home and I don't want to open them um, and I'm scared if I open them I'm gonna get manic and then want to buy more and lose my mind but yeah I bought Pokemon cards series 10 of puppy my pocket is also at Walmart um at least in Canada it is so I bought one of these I also bought one for my friend's birthday and then I bought two lost kitties and a pop vinyl figure for my friend for their birthdays because they're all coming up in July and if we can't do shit I'm just gonna drop shit off for them but puppy my pocket I also haven't opened because I'm scared if I open it I'm gonna get manic I mentioned the pop vinyl and I remembered I have this I posted on my story that we found some relics. Bought this action figure because it was this or that ugly ass big lip fish. So I figured 380 and then 20% off of this would have been a pretty fucking solid day. So that's what I did. That same day we went to the dollar store. You know what I'd be saying. I bought a canvas and another canvas and some needles and some yarn. TikTok, baby, you paint that shit and then embroider it? Yes. I know this is mini yarn and not embroidering thread, but we're gonna try it, okay? That's all that, it's fun and games, all right? Don't at me. Also, during that trip, I bought some scrapbooking paper. I bought something and had to return it. And we went to the dollar, oh, I also was sending pictures to print and then we went to the Dollar Tree and then my prints weren't ready, so I had to pick them up the next day. But I bought these stickers and they're the best fucking stickers I've seen in my life. See, we got your top quality. Be kind. Live hoppy. You are dynamite. If you're happy and you know it, clap. You're old. You can't see it because they're so 
fucking holographic. They actually kind of hurt my eyes. We're getting into clothing. Remember how I said, if I could reason with myself, bras and underwear are the best decision. That went out the fucking window. Once Old Navy opened again. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, I work at Old Navy. Okay, I only own basketball shorts, okay? So my reasoning for these was they aren't basketball shorts. They're these pants. You know, it's not a try-on haul. We're not about to do that shit. They're a little shorter than normal. I feel like my legs look disgusting in them. However, I needed something other than basketball shorts that go down to my fucking knees. Remember how I said I was a man? I'm basically a man, but now my brain wants me to be feminine and I don't know what to do about it. Okay, so we have these pants, okay? They're black pants. They're, they're great pants. They're... You hear that? That's the material they're made out of, okay? I bought these because they're old navy pants and I can wear them to work now. And guess what? I don't have to wear fucking jeans every day. And that's why I bought, you know, my mom comes in the shop. So I decided to buy everything else I've wanted. I got a pair of black shorts that you can't see. They're the same as the other shorts, but black. I bought these pants. They're linen, okay? They're also black. I tell you they're, li <laughs> they're linen. <laughs> so you know, I don't know. They're breathable. They're old navy. I can wear them to work. They're not jeans. Okay, get ready. Black slides. You can't see them but they're from the boys section okay get ready are you ready a black belt <laughs> you can't see it but it's there <laughs> I see can you tell what color my wardrobe is? It's actually not that black but a black belt <laughs> okay get ready for something not blank are you ready Okay, then we have this. It's gray. Plot twist. It's not black. Okay, we don't have a black version of this anyway. It's all gray. But it's like a racerback thing. What the fuck are you doing? I know I have a rabbit's foot in there, but like, yeah, I'll take you out. I'll take you out. Gray. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is so... When it gets hot out, I have something to wear that isn't manly. The black pants button tan. Wow. Um, but I have nothing to style them with. I just look like a hobo. I bought this because wearing plain shirts still just feels, feels too too weird to me, too grown up. Like, I still feel like child. I am. I am child. But I bought this because it's like adult, but like, I don't fucking know. I just, I bought it. I don't know why I'm telling you this. I bought this trying to be more adult. It's plain. Look at that shit. It's plain. No graphics, but it's still cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, this is manic. All right, last thing I bought. These two plants from Walmart. So these guys are very exciting. I haven't replanted them yet. I know I'm bad human. All right, so we are back. I have um, my foot soles, but I've also purchased more on accident. So we're gonna get into it. This came inside of a box and there was also a note with it. Um, happy I didn't buy the stickers because it added $10 of shipping for stickers, which is stupid. And happy I got small ones. And this is how you, small business, you personalize that shit because even though you know everyone else's is personalized, it still makes you feel special as a human being. Okay, so here's the box, foot soles. Wow. Who knew I'd be this old, this young? All right, so it's literally just foam. You know what I'm saying? It says feel your soul. So you see that when you slide your foot in. There's a little bit more arch support in there. Um, you know, brand identity continuing through. And then on the bottom, it says feel your soul or foot souls, whatever. It says feel your soul here, leave me alone. And then a little smiley face, which is very cute. And here is what I say about them having worn them to my shift tomorrow to see if I die. All right, now I got manic about something and you've seen my manic energy. So first off, I was taking pictures of my dog for his birthday. It was yesterday. And so my tripod is garbage for this camera because this camera weighs like 18 pounds and that's why my videos suck. Um, because my wrist hurts when I do handheld and it doesn't autofocus when recording. So I always have to do that. Um, but I bought myself a Manfrotto carbon fiber tripod because it's something I do need as a gear thing and you know having working like consistently recently as well as my one payment of Serb. We are doing solid. Um, I'm scared my hour's about to drop. But yeah, so I bought um, this Manfrotto tripod because mine literally weighs a pound. And then a childhood dream. <laughs> I have a <laughs> very expensive camera in my hand. It's a full frame camera, but I decided to buy a point and shoot camera, the Canon G7X Mark II, because when I was really, really into like vloggers and vlogging, this is the camera everyone was using. This is the camera I fucking wanted. And as somebody who really likes making stupid little videos for memories of like trips that I do with friends, I really wanted a camera that autofocused when recording. And this will also come in handy for Kins tube. It'll autofocus when recording. And that's like the bare minimum I want in life. So I'm really excited to have this as like um just for videos. It's not like the megapixel difference is huge between this camera and this one. Megapixels don't really mean shit. 
Um, not gonna lie, who bought this little Lego race car for my friend's birthday because she bought me a dog and it took me and my friend an hour to build it. Here's a card that's broken, but I still paid $2 for it because it has a shark on it. My friend's birthday, different friend. Her birthday's coming up and she fucking loves sharks. I already bought her a birthday card, but like this is her new birthday card, everybody. And then I bought this one. I don't know what I'm using it for or who it's going to, but I laugh. All right, we worked. So, you know, I gotta do that. That thing where I buy something when I work. The short that I'm currently wearing and the black shorts I bought are here they are in maroon um you can see them that's pretty cool and then because I'm going to protest tonight and because they were in store and I was like damn I should be a responsible human I bought some face masks as well there's five in here there's two bananas two red and then this picnic blanket one and I bought these before my shift started so because I work they're like we're gonna give you one well we're gonna give you two for free and now you have to wear these to work instead of the metal like the blue ones that we are providing you because these are those are now just for like emergency purposes. Okay, so I have two more things. It's now June 14th. My friend's dog recently passed away and he brought her in for my portfolio. So I have pictures of her and he came to me for prints. He wanted them framed. So I bought these frames from Michael's and they will also be used for my friend's birthday present because I've made these. And at least one of them will be framed. I want to send them all to print at Staples because Staples has like, you know, office paper. So after my shift from work yesterday, I, well, actually it was my 15 minute break. I bought these. They're two plain shirts. They're primarily linen. Oops. And yeah, I bought them because of the pants I've been buying. You saw all the pants I bought and the shorts and everything. These will go with them. And um, every shirt I own kind of ruins the vibe of anything I've bought recently. So it's, and I feel weird wearing plain shirts, but I like, I need to make that step because everything I own is a graphic tee. And um, yeah, I feel comfortable in these, which is really good. I don't normally wear something with like, that goes this low. It's not even low, but like, you know, my I'm, I'm like, I bend down in titties. You know what I mean? Like, cause I don't pay attention to any of that, which is why I don't wear dresses skirts either and that's everything i've bought in quarantine and i'm sorry this has been long and dragged out and i explained things i didn't need to <laughs> i will see you whenever i see you